What's up guys, my name is Jesse, welcome to JR Videos. Today we're going to be looking at the Queen of the South intro. You guys requested this below, thanks for those requests. Today we're going to be doing a speed tutorial so it won't take too much of your time and hopefully you'll get the idea of it. If you have any questions, just post them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer them. And here's what we're going to be making today. It's not. It's survival. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a new composition. We're going to call this Queen of the South. Make it 10 seconds. The second thing we're going to do is bring in a texture that I found off the internet. I will attach it in the project files below. First thing we're going to do is make it smaller. Then we're going to duplicate it. Flip it around like this. Move it to the bottom. Line it up. We're going to do the same thing with the top. Duplicate it. Move it up to the top. Next thing we're going to do is add some hue and saturation to make this purple. So we're going to drag that over to the bottom one, and then we're going to change a bunch of settings real quick. I will show you the settings in a second. And here are the settings right here. Change the saturation, hue, and lightness. And then you copy that and paste it on the other ones. Okay, so next we're going to make the Queen of South text. We're going to make that pure sans, make it about 189 text size. Spread it out a little bit. And then we're going to make the of the text perpetua, and we're going to make that 107. Make that white. And next we're going to add in a pattern that I found off the internet. We're going to duplicate it. Move it over. We have two of them. Now we're going to duplicate the Queen of South twice and put them in between. We're going to add a track mat, alpha mat to the Queen of South to add them both. And then we're going to make the Queen of South below invisible. Then we're going to change the text of the Queen to white. We're going to do that, change it to white, do the same thing with the next one. Then make the bottom layer visible. That color is FEBC5F. Next, we're going to add some glow to the bottom layer of the Queen of South. We're going to change those settings around a little bit, change it to alpha channel. I'll show you these settings in a second, and here they are right there. So we're looking good so far. Next, we're going to add a fast blur to the glow layer again. And we're going to change that to one. Next thing we're going to do is make a new solid to make a vignette. We're going to call that Vig. Make it black. Go to the Eclipse tool, select that. Invert it, feather it, and change the opacity down. Pretty simple stuff. Next, we're going to move the text backwards and the background forwards. So we're going to pick whip that. The backgrounds together, change the scale to 69, move that out, and move it up to about 87. That's a little too much, so we'll move it back a little bit. So now we're going to do the same thing with the Queen of the South, but we're going to make it come forward. So we're going to set the scale after you pick whip both of them. And we're going to make it zoom forward, like so. So that's looking pretty good. We want, If you would want to add a little more realism to it, we're going to make a new solid. And if you have particular, call it particular, go to particular, and then we're going to add it. Click effects builder, go to blowing snow, change the color to a grayish so it doesn't look like snow but dust. And we're going to click apply, go to the particles, set that to 70 so we slow it down a little bit. And there you have it, the Queen of the South intro tutorial. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like this speed tutorial, let me know by commenting, liking, and subscribing. You guys are the best. Let me know if what you guys want to watch next.